well, good morning. I've been up since about 6 o'clock, 6.30. It is now 8 o'clock. Oh my god, I was supposed to leave earlier, but I didn't really feel like it, so oh well. But uh, yeah, so I'm just getting ready to head out the door. Just need to turn off the TV and get some stuff situated. Whoop. And then I am going to head to the Wikiwachi River. I'm going to be going to the Rogers Landing portion of it. And I'm going to head up the kayak shack and see if they have any kayaks available for me. Because they're all sold out at the Wikiwachi. Even though, like, the rental company at the Wikiwachi only allows you a two-hour rental for the same price as the other place anyways. And you can't even go up the whole river even if you wanted to. So I'm going to go check out the kayak shack since they give it to you for the whole day. An apple, banana... I'm going to try to bring my camping stove with a dehydrated meal. I might just make it before I launch and then just have it in the pack, like zipped up, ready for me to eat. Which, speaking of which, I better bring my spoon or fork, whichever. And yeah, so I'm going to bring that with me in case I get hungry. I also have granola bars and stuff, I'm going to bring that. We'll see whenever we get there what I decide to actually bring. I think it would be best for me to stop somewhere and get a hat because I don't have a hat and it's hot as hell and I'll get burned and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to stop somewhere, get a hat, don't forget my towel and everything and then I'll be on my way. So I guess I'll pick you up whenever I get there. All right, later. Okay, well, apparently I wasn't recording, so I made it here to the kayak shack. Take two, I guess. Um, so I rented my kayak. It was a 10% fee, like surplus charge because I was using a credit card. So I made it here. That's the building over there. I'm just uh, getting ready to launch. Got to put on a bathing suit. I got my spaghetti thing cooking here using one of the freeze dried meals for my lunch. And got the water starting to boil, and then I'm going to go change and after that, it's just a matter of going in my kayak. All right, I'll catch you up. Okay, everything's packed up. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go get in my kayak now and start to take off upstream. We'll see how this goes. I've never been in a kayak before, so here's the entrance. You come around the side here, the yellow gate to the umbrella, and that's where you get your kayak. All right, let me get in and I'll pick it then. Well, I'm in my kayak. I'm gonna head up the river now, see how far we can make it. I have till 4.45. So, I'm a little bit wonky because I've never been in a kayak. I've never been in a kayak before, but hey, I'll learn as I go, right? Oh, I'm making my way upstream, getting the hang of this kayaking thing, slowly but surely, but man, oh man, does it ever do stuff on the shoulders, I can tell you that. Harder than, to me, it's harder than canoeing, even though it's supposed to be easier, but maybe I'll get used to it, I don't know. But making my way past the houses, man, oh man, what a beautiful place to live this would be. It must be hella expensive though, you'd think. Say it gets calmer a little bit upstream. Hoping so because this is quite the hard paddle. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the palm trees and the clearness of the water. It's just beautiful. Courage trying to take me and turn me around. Should have brought a my headpiece for the GoPro, but that's okay. Well, I think I've been paddling for about half an hour now, 45 minutes. I'm still in the house area, not quite in the wild area yet, but holy crap, I underestimated just how hard it was gonna be to paddle up this current. Currently just beached on a log here. As you can see the water is just so clear. Such beauty. It's only gonna get better as I go upstream. Hopefully I don't develop a sunburn or blisters or anything because 
I'm not used to these paddles, so it's kind of rough on the hands. But uh, just sitting in the shade enjoying the breeze because holy crap, it's hot in the sun. These people got some beautiful properties here, I can tell you that. But I think I'm gonna grab water and my sunscreen and reapply it to my face and my arms and then be on my way. <laughs> wow guys, I think I made it to the end of the houses. Hold on. I made it to the end of the houses and now it's just literally just me. Beautiful nature. I am absolutely this GoPro would stay still. I'm absolutely loving this. You can see the houses are behind me. Now look at it. I'll turn you around in a second here as soon as I get what you really but look at this. Wow. The current's gonna take me. That's why it's hard to film in here unless you got like a chest piece or something because it is, the current just wants to take you. But look at this, absolutely stunning. And I'm thinking I'm gonna, look at that beach. I'm gonna find a beach somewhere and then take a swim eventually, but just thought I'd show you guys what the beginning of the wilderness looks like here. And I'm going to continue making my way up there. All right, set you back down here. I don't know how good of an angle this is or anything, but it's all I can do. So it is what it is. Can't wait till I'm going your way. <laughs> Holy moly, all of a sudden I just got taken by the current. Holy crap, that was something. There's like a, there's like a tree swing or something over there. Let me see what kind of angle this has before I go wasting all the minutes. Well, I'm fully in the wilderness, all by myself for now, just past a bunch of people. Look at this water, oh my god, just resting my kayak up here and this beautiful beach area got some beautiful trees happening wow just letting my GoPro cool off in the water because it says it's too hot to record right now for some reason I guess it doesn't feel hot to me but it is what it is so just resting here drinking some water maybe have some Teddy Grahams I don't know and then uh, continue up river I'm actually not that far up but holy moly my arms are getting quite the workout Coming back is going to be absolutely beautiful though because then I'm with the current and I'm just going to slowly breeze on by. But I'm going to take some pictures, relax, let the camera cool off, and then I'll go again. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous bird hunting in the Wikiwachi River. It gorgeous. Wow, what a place to call home. Well, I saw a crab, an egret, some fish. Hopefully when I'm sailing downwards, like downstream, I'll be able to capture some fish, maybe some crabs. Oh, look, there's some fish right there. See them? Mm -hmm. Ooh, hopefully I caught that, but I saw bigger ones than that, like a whole school of them. It's really hard to film anything going upstream because the current is super strong. It doesn't look like it, but holy moly. I am really enjoying myself in here. Look at the wilderness. This is exactly what I was hoping for on this vacation. And something's biting me or something. Really should have bought bug spray. I meant to actually on the way here. I meant to buy a hat and bug spray, but I didn't get either. So at least I got sunscreen or else I'd be burning up really bad. find myself a nice shady beach 
eventually up here. Take a nice swim before I turn back around. I highly doubt I'm going to make it to Wiki Wachi Springs at this rate. But maybe if I pick up the pace and stop stopping everywhere because it's too tempting to fish are just flying around me right now. But maybe I'll make it, but I highly doubt it. I haven't seen any crocs yet, which I guess is a good thing. Although it would be kind of neat to see one, I guess. My mom wouldn't like that though. I guess this is that popular beach area that people like to stop at. It's got screaming kids though, so I'm gonna continue. Beautiful though. Beautiful place. I would totally stop here to eat, but it's a little bit too noisy with those kids. So I think I'm just going to carry on. Whew. Hopefully I'll find another place like this, because man, oh man, that is gorgeous. Mind you, this whole river is gorgeous, but... Let's try to go up a couple bends and then take a break hopefully it's somewhere in the shade though because this polar bear is gonna burn I don't know how good that sunscreen is so trying to stay in the shade as much as possible plus it's much cooler in the shade than it is in the sun here holy moly All right, I'll pick you back up whenever I get to my resting stop. Well, decided to take a quick little break here at this beautiful spot. Look at this. Um, to FaceTime some people just to show them where I'm at and I'm all excited to show them because holy moly, this is just stunning. But I'm going to continue up the river, going to find myself a nice little beachy area and go for a swim. And then we'll see about turning around in a bit. Other than that, so I'll pick you up along the way. I'm taking pictures too, so you'll see that in the videos. And yeah, had a banana, had some Teddy Grahams. Going to have some water and then I shall catch you in another spot. <laughs> Well, I made my stop at my beautiful place here. I'm having some spaghetti in the de dehydrated or deep freeze dried meal. And so I made it here to my stop. You see, it's so beautiful. Got my kayak up here on the little beach. So this is where I'm gonna finish eating my meal and strip down to my bathing suit. And this is where I'm gonna chill for an hour or so or however long I feel like it. Oh, it's just absolutely incredible. Look at this place. I can't believe something like this even exists. I'll show you around the corner and stuff like that as much as I can once I'm in my bathing suit. Believe it or not, it looks very shallow, but it actually isn't. It's just the water is so clear. There's going to be my little, like, over my head swimming hole. And this is where I'm just going to sit in the nice soft white sand. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. I am so happy. So... Let me finish my meal, have a drink, maybe eat some Teddy Grahams, and then I'll show you some pictures and some stuff once I get in. All right. <laughs> the best dinner table I've ever had. Yeah, it's a fantastic. 
perfect spot. Sorry? Thank you. There's a huge vulture in the tree over there. I just noticed him moving. Look at that thing. It's like right there. Saw a big black thing just coming out of the friggin' woods. Randomly, so it kind of freaked me out a bit because it's huge. And then, look at that, it's a friggin' vulture. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Let me see if I can get closer. Something smells like death over here. What are you doing? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, cool. Well, this has been my paradise for the last hour and a half or so. Still enjoying the beauty of this place. Every once in a while the border will go by, but other than that, I'm pretty much all alone here. Which is pretty awesome. Just trying to stay out of the sun because I don't know if it looks like it, but even with sunscreen, I think I'm getting burnt a little bit. But yeah. So just trying to soak this all up while I can. And then I'll start making my way back downstream. I'm not going to go any more upstream because my arms are tired and my shoulders are sore. And I just want to chill here for as long as possible and soak it all up. Because I don't think I'm ever going to see a scenery like this again for a long time. So. Alright, there's boats coming, so let's you down. Okay, well, apparently I had a family that can beach up on me here because of... The propeller broke or whatever but apparently I've been chilling here for the last like two hours when I wasn't supposed to be this is all protected forest area so just keep that in mind if you're gonna come here apparently there's signs I didn't see any signs but oh well so I'm gonna pack up and I guess I'm gonna start heading back and find a different area to chill for a while or maybe I'll just head back to the truck I don't know I'll see how I feel whenever the time comes just gonna apply more sunscreen and then be on my way all right I guess I'll pick you back up or show you along the river on the way back. And if I stop to swim, then I'll show you that place too. Alright. Well, I made it to the tree that everybody jumps out of. Or at least one of them anyways, so I'm debating on if I want to climb up there and jump off or not. Probably will, but just going to see how I feel about it. And then you'll either see a video of me jumping or not. So. Okay, I'm gonna do it. You just gotta climb up these steps and then. Guess I'll get up there first since I need both hands to climb and then see you when I get up there. high.
So it's higher than I thought. What is it? Said it's higher than I thought. Yeah, you're <laughs> up there. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, am I even gonna be able to jump now? <laughs> okay, well I guess I don't really have a choice. Okay. All right, count myself down. One, two, jump. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. So that was higher than I thought it was, but I did it. Check that off the list. <laughs> well, that was fun. All right, time to get back in the boat and carry on, I guess. <laughs> uh, jump from up there. Oh, shit. I didn't think I was going to be able to jump there for a minute, but... Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Well, okay, now that I'm done jumping off the tree up there, I guess I can continue on back towards home. Wow, it's so much faster going downstream than it was going up. I'm just flying. Just walking in the middle of the jungle, up a stream because I saw a crab. But you know, that's just me, I guess. Oh, my nose. I don't know if you can see them there. Keep trying to get video of the big fish. I don't know if I'm going to get any or not, but I'm trying. If you see footage of them, then you know I got it, but if not, then I'll, I'll freaking love the crabs. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to continue now. Well, this looks like another spot just to take a quick dip and swim and whatnot, so I'm going to do that and then I'll be on my way again. Well, I made it back to land, gave them back their kayak and the, that's their little launching thing there. So as you can see, that red umbrella is where you get your kayak from. Man, oh man, is it ever busy now compared to what it was before. But uh, that's okay because I'm getting out. I still had a little bit in the water, but I figured the water's not as nice at this end anyways for swimming. So I am just going to head back to the motel now and maybe go for another swim later get something maybe get something to eat on the way not sure i'll figure it out but i need to get changed 
into some drier clothes and stuff and then I'll be on my way so we get that done and then I'll pick you up uh, once I know if anything else new is going on or something like that really cute little birds in the parking lot <laughs> we're gonna love them they got long crooked beaks <laughs> hey buddy what you doing hey what you doing buddy anyways trucks over there let's get the stuff in well made it back to the hotel just watching tv been here since i left uh, the kayaking thing um eight wendy's had a nacho burger which is super spicy i don't do spicy in case you didn't know that and so i had to suffer through that one thank god for chocolate milk so now i'm just gonna watch tv relax in the room since i had a big day today and enjoy this bed for one more night and then tomorrow head off to camp try not to fall asleep too early but you never know gonna have a little bit more wine and then pass out i think so yeah see you in the morning <laughs>